here this evening in Las Vegas. Welterweight time, the heat is on all who compete in the 170 pound division, stacked with Sarah Hughes, St. Pierre, Koscheck, Sanchez, Fit, and don't forget Carl Parisian and Josh Berkman. The heat! Expect fireworks, you know, don't blink when Carl Parisian fights, because I'm always going to do something crazy you've never seen before. Everybody knows, and I'm really good on judo throws. Judo throw! Judo throw. That's the judo right there. Judo 101. Parisian trying to turn up the heat. I'm coming in shape, and if I'm in shape, I don't care who it is at 170, they're in trouble. Everybody's like, ah, where'd this kid come from? Is he getting lucky? What's the deal? People are wondering. And so Car Carl is going to be a proving point, you know? Whether I'm just running my mouth, you know, or whether I'm legit contender. I'm really gonna surprise Carl. He's gonna lock up with me and he's gonna be like, that's one strong dude. <laughs> and then he's gonna be on his head. Josh doesn't have anything that's gonna surprise me. Whoa, what was that? My reaction and my timing and my explosion is gonna be better than yours. If you wanna shoot on me, fine. I'm gonna sprawl, get out of the way, lock something up, and as you stand up, I'm gonna dump you on your head. I would not wanna fight me right now at 170 pounds. He's got a lot of stuff to worry about because I have way more arsenal in my game than he does. It's gonna be a hell of a fight. It's gonna be a scrap but I'm gonna be a world champion, you know? It's my destiny, it's what's gonna happen. And uh, Carl's just in the way. I'm trying to do a highlight reel on Josh Brooklyn. I'm, I'm trying to do some magic on him and get my Tyler shot. This dude right here, Josh Berkman, the people's warrior, defines athlete. All state in high school in football, baseball, and wrestling gave up Division I scholarship offers to play football because the minute he got a taste of mixed martial arts, he fell in love with it and he said, this is what I want to do. Yeah, and he, he is a tenacious competitor. And one, one of the things that really defines Josh Berkman, when he was on the Ultimate Fighter at 170 pounds, the toughest guy on the other team was Melvin Gallard. So when it was his pick to fight, he said, I want to fight Melvin. I want to fight the toughest guy first. Unfortunately, he broke his arm in that fight. Even though he won, he was unable to continue with the rest of the show. So people really didn't get a chance to see what Josh is really all about. They really got to see him when he fought in the Ultimate Fighter on the finale on television, when he fought Sam Morgan and just destroyed him. Brutal, brutal takedown, smash with an elbow, and put Sam Morgan away very quickly. He is incredibly athletic, very strong, very powerful guy, very aggressive guy, and he's got a lot of mixed martial arts experience. He's been in there with some tough guys. He's been in there with John Fitch. He's been in there with Drew Fickett. He's been in there with Chad Reiner. I mean, he is, he's been in there with Josh Meir. He's, a, he's an experienced guy, he's a tough guy, and he's a very good test for Carl Parisian. To prepare for this test, which is Carl Parisian, he took his own team up to Big Bear, California, which seems to be the popular thing for our fighters to do. Joe Stevenson, Joe Daddy Stevenson, part of his camp. And he worked with some judo people to try to avoid the great throws and tosses, if you will, of Carl the Heat Parisian. Yeah, and Carl's judo is, that's world-class judo. You're talking about a guy who at one point in time was, you know, a, a top, top judo list in the country. You know, he's a, a amazingly strong grappler, and uh, Josh Berkman's got his work cut out for him. And you know what? To be a champion, you, you gotta be champions, and that's what he's gotta do tonight. He's gotta beat a guy who, in my opinion, easily could be in the mix at the top spot at 170 pounds. Well, that is such a deep division in which we have welterweight right now. Sarah and Hughes oh. gonna fight for the title. St. Pierre, I said John Fitch, Josh Koscheck, Diego Sanchez, deepest and the list division. goes on. Deepest division in the world. I mean, 170, the only argument is 155. 155 and 170 are both just nightmares. Josh Berkman in the octagon. He has only been defeated once, and that was by John Fitch. He was humbled very deeply in that fight. He has recovered since and been impressive in his last two entrances into the UFC. Joe Daddy Stevenson, Ultimate Fighter winner in the corner of Josh Berkman. Great crowd here tonight. Electric it is. Sold out MGM Grand Garden Arena. Welterweight showcase now. 
Chuck Liddell, Rampage Jackson still ahead in our main event of the evening. Hollywood, California, winner of five of his last five of his last six UFC fights. Caro the Heat Parisian. Caro the Heat Parisian, a top, top flight judo fighter. He was at one point in time one of the best judo guys in the world. Scheduled to compete in the Olympics. Derailed all that for a mixed martial arts career. Still, you know, all the experience this guy has, even though he's beaten tough guys like Matt the current UFC welterweight champion. He's beaten tough, tough guys like Drew Ficken, Chris Lyle, Nick Diaz. He's only 24 years old. I mean, that's one of the hardest things to comprehend about this guy. How much experience he has in international judo competition, how much experience he has in MMA, and he's still a very, very young guy. Started fighting men, and I mean men at age 14. He fought a 23-year-old named Daniel Lopez, also at age 14, Parisian, beat a seventh degree judo black belt who was somewhere around 38 years old. And at the tender age of 24, he has many more fights than 43 year old heavyweight champion Randy Couture. Yeah, it's really incredible. I mean, he was the first guy to really show judo in the octagon and show these just incredible throws. And he shows those throws without a gi. You know, this, that's the big transition with a lot of these guys is learning how, in jiu-jitsu we see it as well, learning how to deal with the lack of handles that you, know, you don't have with the gi. Vaccaro knows how to throw guys on their heads very well without the gi. Six junior national judo crowns, judo black belt, of course, grappling world black belt judo international champion, and a 2004 Olympic qualifier, as Joe mentioned, Carl Parisian, Josh Berkman, here tonight at the MGM Grand. Our tale of the tape, the Armenian board Parisian, three years younger than Josh Berkman. Everything else is virtually identical for the official introductions. Once again, we turn it over to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. And now, three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins with three losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of Salt Lake City, Utah, Josh, the People's Warrior, Bergman. Yeah. Yeah. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 24 wins with four losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of North Hollywood, California, Caro the Heat Parisian. And when the action begins, our referee in charge is Herb Dean. Okay, gentlemen, we've gone over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions at all times. Just keep this fight nice and clean. Touch gloves, come on, ready to do this. Come on. I would say they're ready to do this. This is gonna be the fight of the night. This is a candidate for sure. Berkman, Parisian. Who will move up the welterweight ladder? Herb Dean ready to get fight. us started. Ready, let's do it. And here we go. Big left right hand. Whoa. One of the right hand by Carlo. Swinging for the fences is Berkman. One of the things that I noticed in Carlo's last fight with Drew Fickett is his, his improved stand up. His stand up looked much better with Drew Fickett than it ever has in the past. Berkman. Oh, big leg kick by Berkman. Carlo caught it. Berkman needs a right hand. Gotta watch the knees. Parisian loves to control his opponent. Berkman's got him up against the cage. It's gonna be very hard to take Carlo down. Parisian was rocked badly by Matt Serra in their matchup and he recovered. Parisian with a quick right. 
These guys coming out with thunder in their hands. Berkman looking for the body. Big right hand by Carl. These guys are swinging. Berkman is looking for the knockout. Caught him with the kick. Carl stopped to take down there. Changing stances is Berkman. Right foot forward now. Carlo does that as well sometimes. He likes to throw that judo throw. He throws one of them with the right hand forward. Parisian was looking for the uppercut, just missed. Left foot forward again for Josh Berkman, traditional stance. And now he switches southpaw. He's changing continuously. Any advantage or disadvantage to changing the stance? Oh, call the right hand there. Any advantage on the stance? Well, you know, there isn't. If the left hand forward, you're more open for a right hand. But you can land left hooks better. Oh, excuse me, straight left's better. It's, it, it all depends on who you're fighting. It all depends on what his style is. And sometimes it's just to confuse him and give him a different look. Make him think. Certainly hasn't seemed to confuse Carl Parisian here in the first round. They said they were going to go, and they are going early. Fight right. scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Will it last that long? I was going to say good right leg kick by Caro. Now, like I said, with Caro's fight with Berkman, excuse me, his oh, oh, by Berkman. Caro's on his back. With Caro's fight with Drew Fickett, the thing that I noticed the most was his improved stand-up. And you know, you add that to that world-class judo, that's a dangerous combination. Now we see Caro off his back. Caro has some of the best leg. Oh, Berkman caught him with a right. And Caro trying right. to answer. This is where he'll look for the sweep, look for the throw. If Carl gets a hold of underhooks and overhooks, Brett, Brett Return, good combination lands. And that it is! That is judo right there! Tremendous judo throw by Carl Parisian. And Carl Parisian is very hard to deal with when he's on top. Brett shown some serious strength here. That was just picture perfect. That's hard to handle. Carl Parisian has been here in Las Vegas training continuously with heavyweight champion Randy Couture getting set for this matchup tonight. It's just that if you haven't been in there with a guy who can throw you like that, if you haven't been there with a world-class judoka who's got that MMA experience that Carl has, it's hard to prepare for it. Back to their feet. And Berkman, as you talked about earlier, is one strong dude at 170 pounds. Very strong, very athletic. Carl gets that positioning, he gets that leverage, and he'll throw anybody around like a rag doll. Good right hand and a counter. Good counters by Parisian here in the first round. Now he switches stance back and forth inside leg kick. Carl just has such an unusual skill set to handle. Just missed with the high kick. Berkman faking the Superman punch, changing his mind, moving to southpaw. Ducks the right hand. He's got a hold of Carl. He's got to watch out for that Kimura. Carl's Kimura is nasty. Carl likes to drop down and throw an inside hook and a sweep with the Kimura. Berkman knows that that's why he's dropping his weight down as well. Clenching his hands together, trying to avoid this. He's got to be very careful here. If Carl has this locked up, this is one of Carl's bread and butter moves. Carl's gonna look to drop and get his legs in between Berkman's legs. See the leg in between? Now he drops, he's gonna drop and sweep him. Final seconds of the round, though. Final seconds of the round. Round one's gonna come to conclusion. Good job by Berkman in avoiding that throw and that Kamara. That was a dangerous spot for him. What a great round one. Wow. Three. Just three. There you go. Man, what a fight we got here. Look at this judo throw. Shalam! I mean, Carl's hips are just world class. Let's look at that one more time. Boom! You let Carl get an overhook or an underhook, anything where he's got control of your body, and you're gonna go for a ride. 
see Bob Warner when he fits. That was a big grab. That it's just such an it. unusual skill set to deal with. Most of the defense. guys that enter the Oxgod, they're either Brazilian Jiu Jitsu specialists or they're wrestling specialists or they're kickboxers. You know, that judo is just a weird thing to deal with. You're a hand. Second time, man. Let's go. The corner of Josh Burton. This is it. All right, Bob. This is it. Okay? Use your legs. Don't turn your back on your legs. Carl's anxious to get round two started. His only losses inside the octagon to George Rush St. Pierre, the former welterweight champion, and Diego Sanchez at UFC Fight Night. Right again. Right hand by Carl. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Both of these guys are very explosive, and both these guys have had situations in the past where they faded late into the fight. With Caro, it cost him the decision against Diego Sanchez. And with Josh Berkman, he was able to pull it out, but his fight with Chad Reiner, he dominated that fight in the first round, but slowly gassed and slowly got tired and wasn't able to keep that pace in the third round and allowed Reiner to stay back into the fight. for the one-punch knockout. And that's a lot of energy he's putting into those shots. He's throwing everything into them. He is trying to come over the top, go underneath whatever it takes to knock out Carl Parisian. His pace has slowed, though. He's breathing out of his mouth. And everybody talks about Carl Parisian in cardio, and they say Parisian in proper condition is absolutely scary. That's where he came up. Said, bring it on. That may energize Josh Berkman. That's where Carl, Carl, we're talking about conditioning. Oh, right hand by Carl. Caught another right hand. Top. Picking him apart here in round two. Carl said that he wants to put out a show and make a highlight reel out of Josh Berkman. This is one of the best judo practitioners in the world, Joe. And look at the improvement in his hands. Yeah, I mean, really, his hands, like I said, that, that's been the biggest improvement in his skills. A perfect display of a mixed martial artist who continues to grow. And a very unusual one. Berkman, oh, Berkman's tagged tiring. again. He's getting caught. He's getting caught. His punches are coming slower and slower. Just past the midway point of this fight. Mike Glover, Joe Rogan, glad to be with you here tonight. UFC 71. Liddell versus Jackson. Caro looks like he's measuring Berkman here. The knee and the combination. Again, when we were talking about, about Carlos conditioning, when he's in shape, that's where he got that nickname, the heat, from. Because he loves to make guys wilt. He loves to turn up that heat and force guys into a pace that they can't handle. Randy Couture always uses the expression, impose his will on his opponent. That's exactly what you're talking about with Carl Parisian. Suck the life out of your opponent because you will not give him one inch in which to work against you. And Berkman's style, that, that explosive go for broke style. Well, he just looked up at the clock. And he should see that there's plenty of time remaining in round two, 90 seconds. That explosive go for broke style uses up so much energy. Berkman hanging those hands. He's hanging those hands and he's breathing in deep. And his corner yells, get the hands up. Combination by Berkman. His hands are dropping on frequent occasion, Joe. Parisian trying to set up another big takedown. Anytime you see Carl get a hold of your body, you're in some trouble. He's controlling his hips. See how Josh has got a hold of Carl's pants? Up against the fence. 40 seconds remains in the round. 
connecting again, scoring points, is the Heat Car Parisian. Inside leg kick. Good right hand by Caro. Berkman is nearly exhausted here, Joe. Yeah, and you know, Caro's, his conditioning looks fantastic. I'm sure he's learned his lesson from that one loss to Diego that, you know, was a very close, very tough fight until the third round. Nice fake and then a right leg kick. As round two comes to a close. Carlos barely breathing heavy. I'm actually a bit surprised to see Berkman as fatigued as he is. Here's a nice right hand by Carl Parisian. And then another one. And there's that beautiful judo throw from the first round. There's he another right this hand. Round and this again. Is this is it for you. I'm going to let you know right now. This is all or nothing. You need to leave everything you got here in this goddamn cage. You hear me? Everything you got. A lot of levels. Three, on two, three. Hook left hook, straight, right. Another left hook. Then follow with the kick. Breathe, breathe, buddy. Breathe. Finish it this round. Finish it this round. He's getting instruction in two different languages. He understands them both. Carl looks great. He looks in awesome shape. He doesn't look tired at all. And Berkman's breathing heavy. Remember, he was to fight Matt Hughes for the title in November of 2005, but suffered a knee and a hamstring tear. He's had to work his way back up and desperately wants a shot at the title. Berkman trying to take advantage of the minute rest he was just provided by the end of the round. He's got to go for broke. He landed a big right hand. Presses forward early. Carl, very determined when I was talking to him the last few days here at the MGM Grand. Good right hand by Carl. Whoa, swing and a miss by Berkman. Carl felt that one whiz by his ear. That's the one thing, though, Joe. The way that Berkman is swinging, Parisian well ahead on the scorecard, still has to be careful. Good right hand by Carl. That right hook clipped him. Because if one of those big right hooks connects, it could knock Parisian out. Good left hand by Berkman. Berkman's got the clinch. Got Carl pressed up against the cage. Anytime you're clinching and grappling with Carl, though, in these positions, it's very dangerous. Especially Carl here has got double underhooks. If he gets a lock on his hands. Good job by Berkman in avoiding that, but he's got a guillotine. Lots of time for which to work. Parisian pushed up against the fence. Berkman's looking to pass, but he's got to be careful to get caught with a Kimura on that left arm. Carl's reaching over with his left arm. You see how he's doing that? What he's trying to do is suck his left arm underneath Berkman's armpit. He's got his knee there. As long as he's got control of that wrist, Berkman's arm is in trouble. He's very be comfortable, very comfortable. Sorry, sorry, Joe, very comfortable on his back is Carl Parisian. He's comfortable in all positions grappling. He's going to try to sweep him and go for an arm bar at the same time. If he can get his left arm, left. OK, he got it out. He's saying something. Berkman is saying he's holding on to my glove. Right on top of the action, our referee, Herb Dean. Carl explodes Great out of there. Great job by Carl Parisian. This is his favorite spot. He let it go. That He loves to do that sweep. He loves to do this one, too, the one with the Kimura. He sweeps and goes and for the Kimura, and that's it right there. Two and a half minutes remains. Looking to finish it here is Carl Parisian. Berkman is holding on to his hand, and that's what's saving him here. And he'll give it up. Back to the feet. As advertised, a tremendous battle between Berkman and Parisian. Carl's got the body lock. Berkman can go for a ride here. Carl, if you see him get his hips closer to Berkman, he slides his body weight close to Berkman with his hips. That's there it, it is. right there. That's what he's trying to do. And he moves away with some punches. 
what a fight. Under two minutes left. Berkman regained his cardio here for round three. This is by far the best round for Josh Berkman. Coming forward again. Berkman, got to keep those hands up, and he does. Gets him back up. Berkman's got to go for broke. He's got a minute to do something. Whoa. Parisian missed with a high kick, got himself back and composed himself. Berkman going for broke with a takedown. Parisian with a straight left. They always talk about the jab being an underutilized weapon. Berkman is tired, but he's still so dangerous. He just throws everything into his punches. 40 seconds remains in the fight. Great sellout crowd here tonight at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Catches him with a right, did Carl Parisian. Berkman working hard trying to get that takedown. Carl reverses him. Got him up against the cage. Cardio and heart are very different. Carl Parisian's always had heart. Tonight he had the cardio to back it up. Just okay. looked at Caro, right, shook his hand, and said, You won. Let's get the thoughts of Eddie Bravo. Well, this fight was pretty damn close, but it wasn't as close as the Caleb Starnes fight and Chris Levin, um, but it was pretty damn close. I, I gave the first two rounds to Caro. Josh Berkman started off big in the second round, you know, with a big right hand, but Caro answered with three or four big right hands. That first round, I also gave it to Caro. In the beginning, you know, it was pure mayhem. They went back and forth, but Caro had that big throw in the first round. So I gave him the first two rounds. That third round could have went either way. I, I, I say I gave it to Berkman, you know, but it was a little a too little, too late. Carl Parisian, 29-28. Eddie, thank you very much. We will soon find out if the judges agree with Randy the Natural Couture and Eddie Bravo. Randy telling his training partner and very good friend that he has won this fight by decision. We'll find out in a second. Berkman, a warrior, the people's warrior indeed. He recovered from being gassed out in round two, put on a heck of a show in round three. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. Tony Weeks scores the contest 30-27. Jeff Mullen has it 30-27. And Lester Griffin scores it 29-28. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Caro the Josh Berkman, Joe Rogan inside the octagon with a victorious Carl Parisian. I am here with the winner, the Heat, Carl Parisian. Carl, that was, first of all, a fantastic fight. And the one thing that's impressing me the most is not just your cardio is improving, but your stand-up has really been improving the last few fights. I've been working on my stand-up for a while. Got my condition to another level. And I just came in and brought the heat on Josh. Josh is a tough guy, but, you know, I'm, I'm training. I want to get my title shot after this, God willing. Dana, I'm not gonna get down on my knees and beg me. But you know I love you and I need my title shot. Please give it to me. I got it once. I got injured, never can't get to get it back, but I want my title shot. You were so close to having that title shot. You had it lined up against Matt Hughes, then an unfortunate injury pushed it to the sidelines. How frustrating is it for you to sit back and watch all these other people get a crack at it? It's very unfortunate. I, over, I won a dominating victory over Matt Serra, and he's the champion today, and I want to come back and fight Sarah or Hughes, whoever wins that fight. I want my title shot. I gotta thank some people, I'm sorry. 
Extreme Couture. I love all you guys. Thanks for helping me out. Randy Couture, Manny Gambler, and Neil Melanson, my strength trainer, and uh, everybody that helped me out. Majid, my boy, uh, RC, and somebody else. Reggie Warren. All right, Carl, talk us through some of this action here. Oh, man, I'm just bringing the heat. I got to say something. My judo throws are the best, best throws in the world. All the other throws humped down by little girls. Very nice right hand. Your singing sucks, but you're a fantastic fighter. And we look forward to seeing you again. American Idol for me. Thank you, everybody. God bless. Thank you. Carl Parisian, ladies and gentlemen. And still the